I'm Scott Thompson and here are your top stories from Two Works For You on a Monday. After three years, a two mile stretch of Riverside Drive is open to traffic now. It was closed three years while Gathering Place was under construction. The city of Tulsa spent about $20 million to reconstruct Riverside to coincide with Gathering Place. A ceremony marking its opening was held at 8 o'clock this morning. A teenager remains in critical condition after he was shot in the face overnight. We were first on the scene at Charles Page Boulevard in South 49th West Avenue. This happened just before midnight. Two people were taken into custody for questioning, but no arrests have been made so far. The man accused of killing his wife and shooting his daughter in Adair County is expected to go before a judge this week to learn of the charges he faces. Deputies arresting 28-year-old Aubrey Johnson after a two-day manhunt. The child he shot remains in a Tulsa hospital. Let's get a check of Monday's forecast from meteorologist Kirsten Lang. Good morning. Well, we are looking at some cloud coverage to start, but more sunshine expected this afternoon. Those winds will be light today, coming in from the east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Those temperatures today should be making their way on up into the upper 70s to low 80s. So here's a look at some of those highs today. Uh, 80 degrees here in the Tulsa area, 76 in Pryor and Tahlequah, about 75 in Grove and Coffeyville, about 79 over in Ponca City. Overnight, still quiet with partly cloudy skies as we drop back down into the 50s and 60s. So another cool and comfortable start for our Tuesdays expected for us here. And our day planner, this is what it looks like hour by hour for us today. We're going to get up to 74 at noon and then a high of 80 this afternoon. So very nice, very comfortable day, light winds, a little more sunshine. And for the rest of the week, those temperatures warm up. We're going to get back up into the upper 80s as we head towards the weekend. Overnight lows will remain in the 60s as we head over the next seven days as well.